Moving good on that, let's proceed with REZ 2016-03, sir. Yes, sir, thank you. Um, we've been approached by the new property owner for this subject property, and ultimately what he's seeking to do is to operate a landscape contractor slash nursery business. Uh, when we met with staff, we realized that um, one of the issues in, in his way was the current zoning of the property, which was a residential zoning that was put there back in 2006 for, at the time, what was going to be a residential neighborhood. Um, since that time, those plans have not materialized, the property has been sold, and the um, gentleman has brought this proposal for us to try to go in a different direction for this section of the property. With that, staff looked at this request. Overall, all other staff recommended for approval of this request, which was to go to EA zoning. Planning staff uh, recommended for an RA zoning. Uh, ultimately, that recommendation was just because of the existing neighbors to the south and the potential neighbors to the west and to the north. RA zoning represented um, some friendlier uses and buffer requirements as opposed to EA zoning. Uh, the applicant is aware of this conflict, and really we discussed that at their meeting um, you know, some time ago that we thought that would probably be there. So ultimately, that's the only issue that we were able to find with it is an EA versus RA issue. <coughs> Otherwise, you have the recommendations before you. I don't have any other public comment type updates to reflect to you tonight uh, from the work session on Monday, but I believe the applicant is here uh, should you have any further questions for them. But ultimately, that's where we see this case. Okay, thank you, Jason. Commissioners, any questions for staff? Commissioner Willis? Jason, um, why would EA affect the area? Some of the uses that are allowed in EA, we just had some concerns with. You want me to animal stuff like that? Yes, sir. Here, I'll. Um, special events are allowed in EA, not an RA. Um, RV park, campground, allowed in EA, not an RA. Um, Radio telecommunication towers allowed in EA, not an RA. The other ones mainly are agricultural uses, sir. They're going with buffers. Um, animal hospital, vet clinic. I mean, some of these uses, and y'all know this, that the consideration is he is not considering to do those uses. He's considered doing the landscape contractor type nursery use, which does have those supplemental standards, which would kick in with an RA rather than EA that I gave you a copy of. So for his use, there's a consideration, but the overall, there's some other uses allowed there as well. We thought worth looking at. Yeah. Additional uses as well. Yes, sir. No. Okay. Is he approved in an RA? I think his preference is EA. I honestly believe he'll be happy just to be able to open his business, but I think that the restrictions on his business are less with EA than they are with RA. And I just he'll speak to this, but I think his preference is EA. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for staff commissioners? There being none, and this time we'll open this up to the public. Anybody here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. Hey, um, thank you for this opportunity and, and for uh, considering my, my proposed uh, zone change. I've never done this before, so I might be a little nervous. But um, basically, I've obviously got to play in the middle for me here. Um, <laughs> Basically, uh, I, I'm trying to get a nursery here, and, and to speak to the EA versus RA, I would to prefer an EA, and there's a couple of oh, reasons excuse, why. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Jacob Eckwall, 3524 Mayors Road, by the office of I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, the, the, the current thing with the, with the RA, there are some supplemental um, standards that, that, that are imposed um, if, uh, you know, for, for nursery business. Um, under the ULDC uh, land code that um, for the RA zoning for greenhouse and and, um, and uh, nursery business, it says this: limited plants grown on site and associated organic materials such as topsoil and mulch. And I don't really know what the meaning of that is. Um, and Jason couldn't really clarify that either. So I don't we don't know what that means as far as limited to plants grown on site. I mean, from time to time, we would have material delivered from other nurseries and stockpiled for a project, and then we would go and install that project. And, you know, it's, it's really a nursery for my own uses. I'm a landscape contractor. I've been for over 20 years in, in Lowndes County. We do commercial work, you know, in South Georgia, North Florida. And, um, you know, mostly this would be, there's not going to be any retail operation. It would be wholesale in nature or mostly for myself. And I don't really know what that means. That was one of the things. And then 
if there are those conditions with EA that need variance, I would, you know, if, if it does get approved in an RA, then I would need to go ahead and try to get a variance on whatever that, that is. I, I, and I don't know what exactly that is for, for what I'm doing. And then the, the other thing is, you know, if the economy takes another nosedive, um, you know, and I don't know if RA versus EA, um, but if, if the nursery business is in, in where I need to be, I'd love to have the opportunity to, you know, plant blueberries or pecans or olives or just something else agricultural. So that's why I feel like the, the EA designation, I don't have a problem with the buffers, requirements, screening. I mean, I, I like that. I mean, that, that would help with wind blocks on, on the nursery. And, um, and I don't mind limiting, and I think I put that in my, my notes of intent, I don't mind limiting um, the uses, you know, no livestock, no, you know, I don't have a problem with that. I just feel like for, for those reasons, I think an EA designation would be better than RA. Is there any questions for a presenter? Any questions at all? Do you currently own this the land? I do. So the next, yeah, I, I bought the land back December 9th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. After we had a good visit, I mean, I didn't do it. I, I, I had a purchase based on, on zoning change, but after a great meeting in the first step process, I felt like I, I would go ahead and, and go ahead and purchase it. So, I'm just curious, is this something that you would purchase and bring things in or use or you would grow them yourself? Well, the primary purpose is to grow ourselves, but you know that's not always you know, possible at all times of year. For different projects I would bring in stuff, stockpile, or, or sometimes you know if I bring in liners and bump them up to a three ounce. You know, well, then that's come from all sides. So that's what I'm, you know, we're not going to propagate, you know, cut our own, stick them and grow them. That's just, you know, we would buy in stock and bump it and grow it, you know, to, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's why that, that one little question in the RA, and I don't know if y'all seen that ULVC, is, you know, limited to on site, you know, so that means, to me, that means I have to propagate everything I stick, which, you know, isn't always feasible. So. Any other questions for a presenter? Thank you, Jack. Okay, thank you. Anybody here else wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request, please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak in denial? Neighbor, I don't know speak, speak here, sir, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, address him, please look at us and give me your name and address for the record. Ralph Russell, 3312, back of the road, Austin, Georgia. Been there 38 years. I do have a piece of property that joins this uh, request to rezone. I'm not here at this time to speak against it. I do have some questions uh, that I would like to present to try to get a little bit more information. Uh, my property is located uh, <clears throat> right off the 41, first two lots. Actually, my lots are, are zone highway commercial. The other lots that go down on the north side to the back of the road that are this property, we all have uh, wells that we drink our own water that we pump. We not, don't have any means of water. And then to the north of this area that's to uh, be rezoned is a conservation area of wetlands that's part of the National Wetlands Inventory. And so I just have a concern about the possible use of herbicides, pesticides, anything that could possibly cause problems with the drinking water. You know, that area. There's also from the, uh, the green area on the east side of this property, there is a canal that drains <coughs> the water uh, to the south, gets down to the rear of my property and turns east and drains uh, underneath uh, Highway 41 South in a cover. And then uh, 10, 12 years ago, when this property was sold to put in the zone, the uh, proposed subdivision, the uh, owner at that time dug a canal from the corner of my property uh, back west all the way down to Yellow, and it circles and goes down behind Jack Drive and then turns and goes back east uh, there on in between. Uh, the back road, uh, the south side of the back road, and Sermon Road. So we've got some water runoff there that, uh, you know, I just have a concern there about whether or not there would be 
any kind of issue with the uh, contamination of the water is, is my uh, primary concern. Uh, I, I would much rather have this type of situation there than uh, possibly 60 something houses possible there earlier. You know, so, uh, that's my concern. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Do you have any questions? Anyone have any questions? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Russell. Thank you. I will take a few keeps in just address you. One of his concerns is do you have any type of live method that you intend on using on this property? We probably will go ahead and I, I, we haven't got this far yet. I don't have a site plan and we're just kind of early stages on this thing. But um, I would probably have to have a retention pond to collect my, my water and then we would discharge it at whatever rate of water. You know. You know, and as far as pesticide and herbicide, we're not going to be doing any kind of chemigation, which is directly injected into the ground. Uh, all the, the fertilization and, and, and would be, you know, in the pots or on the plants themselves, and nothing will be grown B and D in the ground. Um, everything will be in containment. So. Thank you for that clarification. Anyone else here wishing to speak in denial of this request? There being no, we'll close this and. <laughs> Okay, sir. <coughs> I have a question for staff. Come on, sir. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know we was talking about EA and all that. Um, <coughs> we did EA and some stuff. Thought we can't hear you. I'm sorry. What now? We can't hear you. Oh. You love it over there. <coughs> the question was, um, I asked him why not EA while we go, and I can understand some of his concerns about EA with the, what he's wanting to do. The question of Jason was, can we do an EA and restrict it to uh, landscaping only and it have to come back before the commission? Is that possible to do that? Yes. Yes, and I mean, because of, you know, there's a number of uses that we don't necessarily mind. So if you go down that route to say, all right, we'll just restrict maybe these, you know, five or half a dozen uses that we think are problematic, Mr. Jacob, you know, negotiations with him, probably be a better road. So that what way he comes problem. back. What would be problematic if I may add? The ones that we five served were, uh, I would say, probably, Animal Hospital. Telecommunications towers, RV park. I think the other ones with Mr. Jacob allowed him some flexibility, but those those are the ones that stick out in the Because that's the only hard part you get in those three. Yes, yeah, sir. The other ones I didn't mention were ag and farm operations. Well, that's kind of a toss up because yeah. you know if he goes back as Plan B, growing blueberries. I mean that can be done with buffers well. Um, so that's the weakness there, and then farmers market and outdoor sales. Just don't, I mean, I don't. Some of those you just don't see there, but those are the other two that I was just questioning on whether to list or not. So those three are your primary concerns. Yes, sir. How about stables and lots? It's allowed in EA and RA. Um, the RA does kick in some additional buffering, Commissioner right. Gladwin. So that would be the one difference with stables and livestock is with RA you you require an additional buffer there. No matter you know. With Mr. Jacobs' business, the required buffer around the property against residential and conservation would be 30-foot landscape buffer or 15 feet with an opaque fence. So there's going to be a buffer on the exterior of the property, whichever direction he goes in, EA or RA. It's just for some examples like that, that, that livestock one, you'd have an additional setback for those for that, for that particular use. Commissioners, I will now take a motion on this request. You ready now? I am, sir. Mr. Chairman, uh, <clears throat> I make a motion to recommend approval of EA uh, for this request with three restrictions. No animal hospitals, number one. Number two, no telecommunication towers. <clears throat> number three, no RV parks. Okay, so we have a motion for Commissioner Willis and a second for Commissioner Wiles. 
Any more discussion on this request? That's for EA. EA. Yes, sir. Huh? That's for EA. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Okay. Just a clarification. Uh, when you say no, tele no telecommunication, for example, you mean an iron line item in the table that says radio, TV, and telecommunication towers. You mean all of these. And so when we say, uh, you said, I think, Recreational park, sorry, RV park. RV park, where you it's park. Head, 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 head. So we want to, so the intent is that these three line items, right? Right. Thank you. Any other discussion on the motion? There be none, we will take a vote of this. All in favor of the motion, please say pop raise your right hand. It's 8-0, Carmel. It's passed. <laughs> 